Well, Rem is uh, one of the, um, perhaps the number one architect right now in terms of, uh, you know, pushing us all to think to the, to, to the limit. And uh, he starts with te texts, he starts with the fundamentals, he starts with uh, the elements of architecture. I think he did a great job of communicating the principles and the fundamentals of architecture, not just to architects, not just to artists, not just to city makers, but to everybody. So, you know, it's like the mass communication, the mass culture when architecture now starts to be uh, available to everybody. And in that sense, uh, it was incredible how he mixed that with the theme of Italy and how, well, since he came back to, to Italy in 2006, rediscovered uh, the Renaissance, rediscovered uh, Michelangelo, and then how he thinks of architecture as something which is multimedia, so mixing dance, film, performance, even advertisement. So he, he stretches the limit of, uh, of a discipline which used to be very elitist, and now it's becoming sort of more possible to everybody to participate in this, in this important uh, discussion. I think the, the big challenge is not to think of architecture as something international but something or something global. It's something local, you know. It's all about understanding the DNA of the place itself. So if you're working in the south of India in Chennai, you know, you won't be able to do a building in London and transport it there. So our challenge is now is local, 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 look for local materials that the materials don't travel, so it's zero kilometers. Try uh, to do buildings which are related to the materials which are local, to the weather which is local, to the city which is there. So um, yes, you have some international understanding of where the discipline has to go, but a lot of it is about localizing the piece and making sure that it connects uh, as an ecosystem with nature in general. What worries us most is this planet that is, you know, every four days we have one million more babies. Uh, we're going to have double the population. Uh, we have a global weather change and architects as, you know, pollutants or, or, or potentially, you know, destroyers of the land. You know, more and more we have to understand how we can help and cooperate uh, with Mother Earth, as we sometimes say, so we don't spoil it even worse. So how can we house this for there's millions of people that are coming, you know, and how we can provide shelter to them. So for us, this whole city making, this whole residential architecture is what, and the local residential architecture is what worries us most. And that's where we're most confused.